Coach Bullet, man, how you doing today? I'm always great. It's a good backdrop, too. <laughs> Just wanted to get your thoughts on how training camp been going. Um, Roley told me that it was like his best training camp ever. What are your thoughts on it? Factual. I second that opinion. Got you. Now, are you also of the same belief as Roley that you expect him to get the knockout in the first round? That's all I expect. Is there anything about Gervonta that worries you in the ring? No. Nothing at all? He's fighting a different monster. Would you say that even though Gervonta has moved up to 140 pounds and fought a guy like Mario Barrios, who was bigger than him, that... Um, Roley is the bigger, stronger, and most explosive puncher. And a different mindset of Mario Barrios. Mario Mar Mar Barrios not going to come to you and knock you out. Roley will. It's a difference in mindset, that's all. Gotcha. So, outside of the whole mindset, it, do you do you respect Tank as just a pure boxer? Or He's not a pure boxer. Tank is a fighter. But you, think, you, don't, you don't think he has any boxing ability? Uh, listen. <laughs> just because you're in a boxing game doesn't mean that your strong suit is boxing. He's a fighter. He's an instinctive, good timing fighter. He's not a fucking boxer. What about in his fight against um, Isaac Cruz, though? He's not a boxer, bro. But didn't you see a little bit of boxing? He ran. Fight? It's not boxing. How did you have that fight? Uh, I, if Cruz had a jab, he would fuck him up. Do you think the right guy won, though? Yeah, of course. Got you. Now, what about when Tank fought against Leo Santa Cruz and Mario Barrio? Before he got to court those stoppages, do you think that Tank was winning those fights or do you think no. he was down? It was automatically. I mean, his promoter told me he was down. Floyd told me he was down. You know what I'm saying? You know, we all see he was down. I mean, but those guys don't want to punch with, punch with bad intentions either. He, he was down on punch but never out the fight. You know what I'm saying? What is it about the whole animosity between Tank and Roley? I know Roley was telling me that Tank tried to fight him at one of Mikey's fight, Mikey Garcia's fights, mm -hmm. and um, skipping out on two sparring sessions. Is well, that that's where it stems from. When you give me a date and a time and you don't show up one time, okay, well, let's do it again. You show up two times, you got to respect for me. So guess what? I got to respect for you. And that's what Roley's situation is with Tank. Was the sparring situation a, a, a situation where Roley just wanted to get some work in, or Roley and, and Roley just wanted just really didn't like him and wanted to spar against him? No, Roley just wanted to spar everybody he could spar. And if you don't show up for sparring, then he takes it personal. Why do you think Tank didn't show up for those sparring sessions? Because he don't want to get exposed. Exposed and knocked out. Getting his ass knocked out. Gotcha. Also, another thing that I wanted to kind of touch on is, um, in in Roley's last fight. Um, he caught like a really great stoppage. Is, is there anything you could kind of take away from that fight and kind of put it into this fight? Or is it kind of hard to kind of gauge since you're fighting Tank? With a you never guy? gauge any last opponent or your next opponent. Everybody's different. Everybody come to fight with a different game plan, different mindset when they fight certain people. Tank ain't going to stand there like he's standing in front of Santa Cruz and a really punch on him three, four times and do this. He's not going to do that. He didn't do that shit to Isaac Cruz. You see what I'm saying? You cannot base uh, your next fight on your last fight. Sorry. You know, you look extremely confident, extremely chill, and like you have no worries at all. Tank is a guy who's won world titles in, in three different weight classes. Um, he was tested against Isaac Cruz in terms of his pressure, and he was also tested against um, Pedraza um, a few years ago in terms of boxing ability. Do you think um, Roley had the... Roley's going to be the biggest puncher he's ever fought, and do you think that Tank has ever got his chin chested before? No. Nobody checked his chin before. Nobody. And that's what we're going to find out. If that little chin of his can back up his punches. You know what I'm saying? Because he doesn't punch hard in Roley. And he's not faster than Roley. And he's smaller than Roley. And he doesn't have the mindset of a killer as Roley. It's a big difference. So it kind of it's, it's, it's a lot of attributes that goes within a fight that people don't really pay attention to. So it kind of sounds like you don't think Tank has an advantage anywhere. Though. Zero advantage. The only advantage has popularity. If you guys win, what does this win do for Roley's career, your career, Coach Wade's career? What does it do for you guys? When we win this fight, we're going to go for Undisputed. Because Roley, like I was mentioned two years ago or more, he's a black horse of 135. Every conversation that they have about 135 guys at the top, they leave Roley's name out of it for a reason. Now, who's the boogeyman? You don't say Kenny Man three times and look in the mirror, do you? That's like saying Roley three times, look in the mirror. That's why they don't mention his name. Tank feel like he's trash, he's a bum. But guess what? You know, the ring with a bum. You know the same Pay-per-view billboard is a bum. So what the fuck does that make you? A bum? And when yeah. a bum beat your ass, then get the fuck out of boxing. Now, when you're talking about the, the undisputed fight, can I get your prediction on that one, man? I think um, Devin Haney's a very good boxer. 
Um, I just know Kambosos is a fighter and he has a lot of confidence right now. When you're supremely confident, it really helps you in any sport. So with him in his backyard, him in his hometown, um, if he doesn't close the distance early on, uh, Devin Haney, it's gonna be a long night, but if he closes the distance early, he can make it short, you know what I'm saying? Is there anything to be worried about for, for Haney in terms of having to go to Australia, also his dad not being there? Is there anything that, that All that shit about? don't matter when you're in the ring. Mm. When you're in the ring toe-to-toe -to -toe with another man, it don't matter if your daddy's there, your mom is there, it's not. He's been trained to do what he's gonna do. He's a, he's a, he's gonna execute. I, I believe Devin will execute what he's been executing forever. He's with Yoel Judah down there. He's in good hands. Got you now. Granted, you did say that you want Roley to go for Undisputed after he picked up the win against Tank. But when I spoke to Roley about, maybe about a month and a half ago or something like that, he said that he was more interested in fighting pay-per-view names, guys that really draw. You well, know, like after, well after the win, either Kambosos or Devin, that will take them into that position. You understand what I'm saying? People have made it easy for Devin as far as title-wise. Can you explain that to me? Well, we know he got the belt. He didn't fight for the belt. It was Mel to him. You understand what I'm saying? And um, really, it, but it doesn't fuck up his fighting skill. Devin can fight. He could box. You know what I'm saying? And um, I take nothing away from him. Got you. And just my last thing, man. Just give me your final prediction for Tank versus Roley. Man. I don't have no predictions. It's going to be a knockout regardless of Roley way, of course. But um, I don't have a round. And to me, a better, a better situation is to beat Tank unanimous decision. That's a better outcome for me because it shows that Roley could fight and box. You know what I'm saying? He could punish him for 12 rounds. Or Tank get froggy, then he goes to sleep. You see what I'm saying? Gotcha. Thank you, man. Appreciate it.